Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about Neapolitan tailoring and show you some of the Neapolitan tailoring options that we have in the shop. So firstly, what is Neapolitan tailoring? So Neapolitan tailoring is a sub-branch of tailoring and tailored clothing that is all about soft garments. Like the Neapolitans were the first to take structured English garments, strip out the structural pieces, and make it something that was softer and more comfortable. And you know, this kind of speaks to their culture and what they are like and what that city is like too. Like Neapolitans tend to be very friendly, very warm, mm -hmm. but also very flamboyant. And it's a hot part of Italy. So they like the idea of something that has quite a lot of character, has a lot of style, but is also comfortable to wear in hot weather. Mm -hmm. So what are we wearing today? Alan, you're wearing? Uh, this is an Orazio Luciano. Um, so uh, typical Naples style. Uh, there is a lot of options that you can find in the Naples garment. And like Mark said, the, it, it was an evolution of that English garment. So you do have that spectrum and range from you know, something a bit more canvas, a bit more structured, you know, more padding through the shoulder, uh, up to what I'm wearing, for example, which is completely uncanvas, no canvas, no structure, no padding, yeah. and also... Like this I is guess, really on the other end of the spectrum. Yeah, exactly. Because there's not even anything in the lapel, like the lapel is just cloth. Exactly, so mm -hmm. it's essentially just all cloth, what I'm wearing, uh, just a lot of ironwork and I guess tailoring sort of skills to create a, a suit, essentially. Um, but yeah, so uh, in terms of features and some some of the main things that you do see on a Naples garment mm. is the thing that stands out the most would be the spala camicia, which is essentially shirt shoulder in English. So let's have a look at that. Yep. So, so larger sleeve head, I mean larger sleeve stuffed into a smaller arm hole, and then what happens is the excess actually gets gathered up here in the top. Now this linen that Alan's wearing is really heavy, so you don't notice it as much, but you can just about see it, like right there. Mm -hmm. You don't always have to have that on Neapolitan garments. Like for instance on mine, mine is a much more traditional looking shoulder, but mm -hmm. very soft and light, as are really most contemporary Neapolitan garments. Yep. So again, uh, you know, you do see quite a few features that are distinctly Neapolitan. Now the barchetta pocket is something you see on all the Naples garments as well. Um, so that's a uh, small boat in English, and um, you see this sort of nice little small subtle curve to the welt. Um, and that's because they meant to have it follow the chest a bit better. Um, but it is a sort of stylistic um, sort of expression as mm. well. As you can see on my patch pocket, there's still a very interesting sort of slant to it. They sort of tilted it completely, and there is still that um, sort of angle and curvature to the top of the pocket. Um, and one of the big things, actually, you also see on a Neapolitan garment is this dart, uh, the extended front dart that you see run from the top, maybe basically the bottom of the chest pocket, all the way down to the bottom of the jacket. Now, sometimes you would see it um, on an English garment, so it disappear into the pocket, but on the Naples garments, then you see it run all the way to the bottom. This might be a good time also to remind viewers about when we shot the video about Liverano, because, you know, for Florentine style tailoring, you don't have that dart on the front. You have it off to the side so mm -hmm. that you don't break up a pattern. Because obviously on something like this, even a striped seersucker, you do see like where you've lost one stripe to that seam. Mm -hmm. Yep, and so there you have it. Uh, you do have interesting sort of uh, you know, stylistic expressions in the Naples garment. Uh, a lot of it was due to the fact that it was a holiday destination. You know, people would flock over from all over Italy, from you know England, from the U.S. You hear of all these big celebrities like Cary Grant and you know all these amazing Hollywood stars in Naples, and also actually having lots of tailoring done there. Um, but yeah, it was a chance for the tailors to really you know show their stylistic and artistic sort of, you know, expression. And they were no longer sort of restricted by, you know, we have to use the suit for a formal meeting or business conference or whatnot. So they really had a chance to sort of show what they could do. Um, and yeah, there you have it, you know, uh, a, a quick breakdown of a Naples garment. Thanks for watching.